So today we're expecting more snow, of course, but we got plenty. We don't need any more. And I, what I wanted to do is, today is uh, probably the first day I'll get to do some serious work on a, the new track bike that we've kind of nicknamed Elvis, and I don't know why. Now, you can see what we've gotten done so far, which is basically nothing. I cleaned up the back wheel for the first thing because I know these wheels are very hard to polish, hard to clean, and we got a couple of cleanup jobs here. So far, what we have is the two of the carbs are leaking, but we got the gaskets over there already. We already bought the gaskets. Thank you to Glenn for getting them. These are just at the beginning of any restoration project, and I know several people like Bob, as an example, probably are interested in seeing what these things look like in the beginning. Well, what they are, they, they look pretty disgusting at this point. We do have another set of uh, fork adjusters that's, bro that's broken, although that probably you wouldn't even need. And I'm not sure that walking around this is gonna do a lot of good. I only wanted to put a minute of this on. What I do is I hang the bike up by a come along, put it up on my stand, Put a jack underneath it. The reason for that is I want to be able to spin the back wheel. Now, just as an example, that's. Then I'm not sure you can see how cruddy these wheels and everything are. But, but the beautiful thing about any restoration is you can do it one step at a time, and then at the end, hopefully, the wheels will look like that. We got a half a wheel done, but we're expecting our grandson to come, so I didn't want to start any big projects. But I thought, as long as I'm going to be doing this, I try to put some of the little things on video. What we do up there on top of the cabinets, we got all the extra parts. We got my reliable quartz heater. Without that, we die out here. It is really cold. Now I noticed the first thing, and of course this is an aftermarket exhaust, and I want to polish it. So what I'm going to do is probably the first thing is I'll take that off the bike. Like I said, the carbs have to be uh, the leak resolved on that. We got to get a battery. Bob has borrowed the battery, which we'll get back in a couple days. I don't care about that. I have a spare battery. He's doing a little restoration too. And maybe we'll be uh, recording some YouTube up by him. But when you start with this, now of course, the, the one of the things now, Chuck has given me some good information on cleaning his tank. This tank has a lot of Somebody sealed it, they didn't do a good job. This is the old fiberglass work and all the fa the parts, the seats, all this stuff will be, uh, we got an air box at last. But as with every project, they start somewhere. Now this is, by, by the way, this is our next project. If we ever get a crankshaft or an engine for it, this is my original bike. I'm the original owner of that, but Parts of it anyway. <laughs> Everything around here is parts. But anyway, what's good is this bike is, has a clean title. It started right up when we ran it, except for the little leak in the carburetor. And I'm thinking as I clean it up step by step, maybe one of the things I'll do is make a bunch of little videos of stuff. Now cleaning up the wheels when I had, a, I had about a half hour this morning to do that. The problem is you can't use any cleaner because the cleaner freezes into snow instantly. It's pretty funny actually. I was, I was spraying some simple green and it just turned to snow. But all this is going to be cleaned up, hopefully. And I guess the next job on this somewhere, uh, maybe tomorrow or whatever. We're going to try to pull that exhaust off and do a thorough polishing on it. I'll try to document that. It's just fun looking back at this. By the way, these are the carb gaskets that always leak on old bikes. These are the old ones that Luciano took out. And luckily Circle Cycle had three of them. And we don't know, we got four choices of air filters already. I don't know what we're going to use. We also got this tool. I'm going to show this on a future video. This, this is something I got from uh, Harbor Freight. It's like a, that steel wool pad. It's great for cleaning up the wheels. Wow, did that work good. But again, I, I always have all my little 
little things and nothing beats some of these old little copper brushes copper don't brush your teeth with this by the way it hurts <laughs> and somewhere down the road what I always remember is the first day we call this bike Sophia you notice every one of my bikes has a name now in Luciano when I picked up Sophia it had such a bad gas leak I thought we were going to blow Luciano's house up but he eventually got it resolved we eventually got it over here and we'll find out hey and we've had three years of track bike street bike fun riding may as well show uh, how nice the Jots parts are out here drying and of course our beloved the queen of the fleet our beloved RD <laughs> and as long as I'm out here freezing this is a lot more fun than working and if you ever want to make a part that's hard to make make these parts and see how long it takes you to make them oh my god but anyway somewhere in the near future I think we're gonna have us a pretty nice bike I'm very excited about it and of course we have a whole spare bike if all else fails we can swap motors radiators instruments in fact, there's a nice, thing. maybe I'll just swap the mufflers. There's a nice muffler on that bike. We'll see if this one polishes up. This is a muzzy. But again, if you always think of it this way, you always start with something that looks like that, and you always wind up with something that looks like that, and then everybody thinks you're a cool guy. Well, almost everybody.